going on, wing nuts? We're gonna get this thing out of here today. I'm just tired of sitting there waiting and trying to figure out the best time to get this car done. I need to know if it runs. Before I even start the turbo build, I gotta figure out if this car runs. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna get this thing towed out of here and start to work on it. All right, so I had pushed it outside waiting for the tow truck. And also, um, a policeman just came by. Um, it was a policeman that thought it was one of his guys coming here to do some investigation or something, so he came over. And uh, he was explaining, he's like, hey, you know, that's one of our cars. I said, yeah, that's cool, man. And he was a real cool dude. I thought he was gonna give me the business. So he said, hey, you been posting videos on YouTube about our cars? I was like, nope, that wasn't me, sir. That was Crown Vic Auto. It was me. So if you see this video, I was very scared, sir. I didn't know what you were gonna do to me. Cause you know, I don't know. You know, this is my first time doing this YouTube type of thing. I don't know what kind of trouble to get into. But thank you for you and for your services or your service as being a police officer. You know, you seem very cool and I definitely appreciate it um, to you and your wife. Cause I just said hello to his wife and stuff like that. Or just waved. He was very cool, man. Very cool. So the car is out. We got the dent that's here, a dent there. And I thought it was clean, but it ain't. And a little smudge there. And over here on this side, it's pretty decent. The policeman, he was explaining to me how they phase the cars out apartment. He said that after the cars reach a certain amount, like around, let's say, 98,000 or 100,000, that they take them out of circulation and they put them as to be traffic lights, basically. Like when people are uh, doing um, pole work, ground work, and you see the police cars are just idling. That's what these cars turn into. But also that the guys still fight to drive these. Some guys, they don't want to drive the Taurus. Some guys don't even want to drive the SUVs. They rather drive these, which is a shocker to hear that they want to drive the old Crown Vic. They really still uh, love to drive those old Crown Vics. So it's really cool to hear that from a police officer from the precinct or wherever department that this patrol car actually came from because he is an active police officer. And again, sir, if you see this video, thank you for your services and service. Um, for being a police officer in the surrounding areas of where I live. Some of you guys may say, F the police, but nah, man. Some of them are cool, man, you know, so we don't have to go all deep into that, but you know how it is, you know. He was cool, he was cool. I thought he was gonna give me the business, but he didn't, so. All right, we are on our way to drop off the car. So we have it here, it's right there, there we go. Let it keep on rolling and we'll see what's up. All right, man, we got the cars here. Look like my house is getting raided. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It would be more so undercover cops, but whatever. Man, um, the tow guy, he gave me some solid knowledge, man, and um, you know, uh, about doing what I'm doing and keep doing what I'm doing. As far as, you know, dealing with the cars and stuff. Uh, he didn't really know too much about the YouTube channel and stuff like that, but he said, you know, all of this, he done this before, and he said, man, the, the key to success is to get up early and go to bed late. For most of us, you just sit there and you just like, what the hell does that mean? But it, it means a lot. And he also said the definition of a man is his word, and to give his word and always be firm on his word. He say he's going to do something, he's going to do it. That is some solid advice to take in, man. So um, we're, going to, uh, we're going to start jacking this thing up. Behind the scenes, I was supposed to sell this. Because I'm trying to do something, because I need the money. I really don't. I would really like to keep just these two cars just as is. It'd be so cool to have it just like this. But when money gets slow and money gets messed up, this is the first to go. But um, I'm going to try to hold on to as much as I can. Yeah, man, I'm tired. I got to get with this, man, because this car is 
been sitting too long. I need to know what's going on. I need to know if it runs. I need to know all this stuff. So I got some help. He's gonna go underneath here. We're gonna try to bang this thing out real quick, but I know what's gonna give me that problem. That goddamn cross member press fit. I don't know why Ford made that. Please explain that to me. If anybody's watching this and explain that shit, that fucking press fit shit. Oh my God, I, I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, man, appreciate for the help, brother. All right, see that cross member? Everybody knows about this press fist shit. I cannot get this thing out because I don't have that much room. Now that's that's the holdup. Drive shaft is out, all that's out. The bolts on the side are out. Everything is out. You know, I got the two bolts up top, but on um, top of the trans I didn't take out yet. So I got my man here with me. And uh, man, fuck them 2004 Crown Vicks and up, man. This shit with this press fucking cross member shit, this ain't the move. And you remember, I gotta do the other car to take the trans out, so I gotta figure out how to take this thing out smooth. And I don't know how. I don't have an idea. So we're gonna conclude this video right here. We're gonna end it off on, I guess it'd be part one-ish type deal. So we're gonna end this off because I gotta figure it out. But I do see some, um, right here, you got the pins, so I'm going to go, I don't even have any, um, what do you call it, I don't know what you call it, a chisel pin type deal to hammer up in there, I don't, I don't have nothing, so I got to go get that, so uh, we're going to end this video off right here, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Thank you guys for supporting too, man. So yeah, I'm trying to get with it, man. Had to get some extra hands to help me with this. I hate being underneath by myself. This I'm claustrophobic, man. I can't deal with that shit. So, all right, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. Please subscribe. Please tell a friend to tell a friend to come again. But right now, it's cold, man. You guys in warm weather, I envy you little motherfuckers. I envy you. <laughs> I envy you. God dang it, man. It's cold, man. Don't live in the east, man. This shit is... Cold. All right, man. See you guys.